<laughs> we need a 9.5 priority setting. <laughs> yes, actually. Totally. Do. Okay, the batteries are full. This thing is still... Okay, this is still getting a couple little bits of uh, nastiness in here. We're going to eventually filter that out. But for right now, yeah. Um, It is taking damage. Let's go ahead and disable the building for now because we're full on batteries. And then what I'll probably do is put... Uh, maybe at least one smart battery in here just to control the natty gas generator because this thing's putting out uh 800 so this is this is way more than i need for all the circuits everything that's running down here um people can't get to the farms too far away from any place they can jump from really because they were all over that just a second ago saturn they are up here like they planned a couple of things already what is this insufficient oh polluted water Oh, okay, they, they can get that. We're gonna get that later. A little bit more. So is this working? Is it dripping? I'm guessing it is. Because it was working. Generator's idle. Alright, so let's see. Let's go ahead and get at least one smart battery. Donut! Shush! Come here, Donut! Come here, stop all that barking. Bitch! Oh my gosh. He's barking at nothing. Let me look at my phone. Yeah, there's not even someone at the door. You just see somebody outside talking shit. <laughs> Seriously, he's just talking shit to somebody outside. Alright, once that's broken, I'm gonna have the emergency put one down here. I'm about to go take care of this dog. Put the collar of shame on him. And this is gonna be our trigger. And I want the closest one because I want it to be... Yeah, I want to be able to, uh, tell to just shut this thing down. There we go. That's what I want to see. Look at that teamwork. Bam! Oh, Done! What's that? Victor! Yellow alert! Everything! So now we can enable this. And then... It should throttle depending on when this first one. We're gonna waste a little bit of power. No, we won't really waste any power. It's gonna just go ahead and fill this thing up and then this battery will turn off the generator. Cool, so we have a good setup there. It looks like the water goes to the, the tile to the left, so it's a good thing we put that mesh tile there. Otherwise, we'd have a huge mess. Sarnati, thank you so much for the 16 months. Thank you. Both of you guys, appreciate it, man. Boom, and it's off. Our first piece of automation. Look at that, it's beautiful. We don't need the uh, wood burner anymore, but we're gonna leave it there. Uh, we're gonna disable it, actually. We're just gonna leave it there. You know, just in case. You never know. Aqua Tuner is still not built. What does it need? Aluminum, right? Oh, never mind. Here comes Martha. Oh, Martha can't hang. Oh, take a deep breath. Come on, give it another shot. <laughs> At least it's not scalding hot. It's just hot. I'm gonna go out and take, take a deep breath. So hot. Yeesh. Just just through our our uh, just going through and building stuff, we're actually cleaning up this mess that we we made a long time ago. I've been asking them to clean up forever. Clean your fucking room. They can't even reach us up here. Actually, one, two, three. Nope. Can you use the poopy water from the natty gas gen to water the plants? Uh, not these. I think these require clean water. Um, eventually, I'm just dumping everything in here because eventually we're going to do something with all this water. And then if I need more space, I'm just going to punch a hole through here and let it all drain. Do I have, uh, space in storage to clean? I don't. I don't. That's why these things will turn red. Like, they'll blink red. You'll see them. Uh, but as we're using the resources to build stuff, bam, there it is. Oh, yeah, power to it. Empty pipe. Oh, because it's disabled. Enable that real quick, Donis. Before you go to bed. Okay, Buffy's gonna do it. Okay, so what we wanted to see is, what is the temperature of the water coming out of here? It's 125 degrees. Overload damage. Oh, Christ. Well, we knew that was gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna break immediately. Uh, the Aqua Tuner takes a how much? 1,200. <laughs> oh my God. I have to cool this water. The water absolutely has
has to be cooled. Um, God, they're just so goddamn expensive. I guess what I could do is, because I have so much natural gas, uh, I could just build another natty gas gen, and that'll give me 1,600 watts of power generation, which would be plenty to run the... Well, it won't be able to run the... It'll be able to run the, the pump and the aqua tuner with the problems. Oh, God. The heat sink tile... No, no, this is power. This is power issue. This is not a, a heat issue. The... Uh, I actually think that because it's underwater, it'll maintain whatever temperature the water is. The water is the insulator, right? So, but at a certain point, I feel like it might heat the water faster than it's able to cool it. But I don't, I don't, I actually don't think that's the case that's going to happen. Um, I actually worry more that it's going to continue to fill with water. <laughs> and I'm not ever going to get this cool. Uh, 125 degrees is still too hot, though. Um, God, it's, it's actually, it's even more than that in some cases. Let me see. 125 degrees. Yeah, and it goes in at 150. So 25 degrees per pass. I could... I could. Kev, thank you. I don't know. I don't know why that one didn't trigger. I think the Twitch Prime ones are messed up on uh on on Streamlabs end. But thank you, Kevin. Kev Mix Miss Colin, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh fuck. I'm I'm kind of in a fuck moment. Pass you is really messing up present you. Yes. Pass me is definitely not help the situation at all. Uh, I'm also running low on food. <laughs> Just on top of everything else, I'm also running low on food. Okay, so what should I do? We have power. The natty gas gen should be going once it reaches a certain point, which is what? Low threshold. Oh, no, no, no. We'll make it, uh... Oh, maybe I should probably run there. So that's going to break. 100% it's going to break. Yeah, it's done. So let's go ahead and... Hold on. Let's put a drain. Just like right next to it. We don't need to force water in it. We'll just use a drain. It will cost us no power. And it'll be... We'll just connect right here. Just put it right underneath it. Just let it just... Suck it up and just put it right in there. Uh... Yeah, do I want to risk getting so close to that dirty water? That's fine. Huh. I think this might work. Of course, we probably should see liquid pipes. Let's look at these liquid pipes here. Let's go liquid pipe overlay, please. Let's go ahead and kill this. Because we're not gonna need that. Heat stroke. Someone got heat stroke. Okay. Is your wife come home a little early? Power, all this stuff is working fine. We just gotta get... Okay, this thing's built. Great. That was fast. And then we'll get uh, insulated pipe. Go right in. This should just feed it. Donis is really hurting, man. Sopping wet, heat stroke. God damn. Let's, uh, let's lock Cory out of here for just a little bit. <laughs> let's see. Donis. Nope, nope. You're not allowed in. Okay, so... They didn't, oh, oh, they took it apart. Damn it. Because they, um... Had a, had a disable or dismantle order on it. Look at that. Oh my god, it works. Okay. So that's going to really help save us on power, and it actually might keep this wire from... I mean, it's overloading right now. But, as long as it doesn't overload and break, I think we're fine. So great! Hey, look, we just saved 240 watts! That is fantastic! Uh, oh, we're overloading over here! <laughs> Everything's going to start overloading now! Uh, let's take a look at power. Let me see. Uh, conductive wire costs 25 aluminum. I'm not gonna run heavy watt wire because that's even more expensive. Well, compared to what I have. Yeah, that's more expensive. Conductive wire does 2k. And that'll be enough to at least... Oh, look at this. <laughs> this shitty wire between here. How did that happen? 
Um, we're going to have to build a transformer. Probably a, uh, a small one, I think, right? Let me see. This one does output wire limited to 1,000 watts. Never mind, because we need a big one. And we'll put it... Let's ease up on the batteries. And then we'll put it, like, right here, I think. Wait, can I put it right there? It's three tall. Put it up here? Kind of awkward, isn't it? I guess not, really. We just run a wire from here instead. Yeah, yeah, we'll put it up there. Oh... <sighs> It's whack-a-mole, man. It's just whack-a-mole. Constant. You say 240 watts, but the 1200 watt machine will now run constantly cooling small amounts of water. You know what? I didn't look to see how much water it's actually cooling. You're right, aren't you? It is the tiniest little bit of water. What is the throughput? 100 grams of water, 128 degrees. God damn. You're right. It, that's gonna take forever and not do anything. So, solution, more than one drain, like three drains, that way we could feed it uh, a significant amount of water, and then we can create a loop and just have it basically loop back on itself until it gets a certain temperature and then open up a valve and let that water move to somewhere else in the base. <sighs> drain the whole floor. I mean, for reals though, that's not a bad idea. Uh, let's build like, uh, uh, let's see, like three more. And then we'll see what it does with this. The overload damage is going to continue happening until we get this thing built, which is already built, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and actually get the power and everything run up to it. So let's see, heavy watt wire, which we can only do a little bit of. 50 to be exact. I believe it's uh, input on top, output on bottom. So good, that'll take care of that. And then we'll... Nix these wires once that's built. Actually, we should probably go ahead and nix this now because the sieve is not getting any power right now. So then we'll do heavy watt wire, fix that. Lots of emergency stuff. Everything's emergency, emergency, emergency. Nines, nines, everything. <laughs> Nine. No power there. This thing's getting built. No power there. It's fine. It's gonna get fixed in a minute. And then we'll be able to run power across the top and down from here. So, power, conductive wire, what we're going to need. Let's go ahead and... Boom. And then... Heat stroke again. Yellow alerts for a whole bunch of things. Yes. <laughs> yes. A whole lot of things. Let's go ahead and actually get rid of this. Deconstruct this guy. And then we'll build wire past it. then actually get rid of that too. This is 2k wire, so this will be enough. Let me wait for them to get done. There you go. I feel like this is still like really pushing it. And of course anywhere that is, yeah, I was to say, anywhere that doesn't have conductive wire is also going to take a beating. Like so this right here is going to take a beating. Power loop detected. Yeah, it's right here. Get the heavy one wire. Cut. There we go. No more power loop. Now we have power. To everything. And how's this loop looking, actually? Oh my god. Oh, it's not connected. <laughs> the water is just transferring between the two, I guess. Let me see. Plumbing. Insulated pipe. There we go. Oh, cool. No way. It's the same. It made no difference. It's just a hundred. So then we need a better way to mix these. Explore a little bit outside. Yeah, to find a cool biome. God damn, that'd be perfect. <clears throat> yeah, this is clearly not going to work here. Let's go ahead and uh, disable this. We'll have to run these differently in order to have water go into the machine in one lump sum. Uh, yeah, this wire shouldn't be here, I don't think. Right? This is, uh... Yeah, it's ass wire. We can get rid of this.
a buffer tank. Yeah, I'd have to build another. We also have all this water here we have to go through. So we do have to find a way to cool this water. Didn't I, didn't we actually see, like... Yeah, there is ice over here. Out here in space. They can't breathe out here, though. Um, but that means that there is something across over here. Now, can I get there easily? It looks like I could dig straight down here and just get slime lung. <laughs> and then have them go across and go underneath this to explore this area to see what's over here. Uh, alternatively, I could go. There's a lot of chlorine here. I don't know if I want to fuck with this. Yeah, then that's oh, you also have to, go, have to go through the natty gas. Oh, uh, why is it turned off? Oh, I think. Wait, what? No power. Oh, because no one's riding the bike. Someone got to ride that bike, dude. Fried mushroom. We're going to need that food, actually. Yeah. Looks like we're. we're... Did they ever turn this off? Oh, they did. Okay. Why does it. Does it need to show me? Don't show me. I wish it wouldn't show me the, uh... Oh, okay. Okay. I don't need to see the flashing thing all the time. If it's not operating, I'm gonna assume. But I think it's a mod, actually, that disables that. Uh, let me see, let me see. So how do I want to approach getting over there? That's the big question here. We can go down here. What's the temperature down here? Not bad. It's a little warm right here, but nice and green. See, I think going straight down here and then cutting straight across... We might have to deal with some germs. <laughs> but they'll be fine. We just gotta go over just for just for a second. Not for long. Let me... Okay, we don't we don't need that. <laughs> what if I should Oh yeah, there's some gold amalgam right here. Let me take some of that. I get some algae too. You know, it's gonna dig all this out. There's gold right there. They could come down here. They can make the step. They can make the jump here. Uh, let's see, I do want them to get some of this, this couple pieces of gold right here, and then they could dig themselves up, and then get that. What is this right here? Cemetery rock. Okay, cool. One death. <laughs> I don't plan on killing anybody. Now, this will get us at least up and out of the... Is that gold? It's gold right there, too. Yeah, we'll go across there. Then we'll see. I have a feeling this is a cold biome over here. Negative 10 degrees right here is carbon dioxide. A little bit. So I have a feeling that that's what this is. So good, this is, an, this is a good way of getting over there. Just gonna take a little bit of time. We're gonna prioritize this up a little bit. Construction. And then we'll do digging. One sacrifice. What up, Top? But yeah, I think I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. Oh, they never did come over here and do this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see. Go turn this shit off. Cory can't come in here. Let me go ahead and allow him access again. Get him, Buffy. Okay, so the drain thing... I think it will work if we were to have just had a better... If we just had a better, uh... Setup. But it's good to know that it doesn't pump that much water. Like, I guess it would be OP if it did, but... It's enough to support one natural gas generator. We know that much for a fact. Let me see. Can I see the polluted water back here? What is this? 120.2... Oh, you know what? It's not. If if this natty gas generator ever stops running, then it will siphon out the additional water. Uh, but as you can see, it is it is growing. It is actually increasing in volume. So it will eventually f overflow that point there. So we should build another drain, basically, is what I'm saying. And we'll build a drain on this side. Yeah. And then what we'll do is instead of going through each other, we'll have them go up and over, and that should merge the two more better. So yeah, that'll that'll solve the problem. We will have any we'll definitely won't have any problems. Uh it seems like two, three would support two. 
So if I have another nat natural gas generator, I can put one here. More better. Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to open this up anymore right here because then I would be inviting all of this nasty air to come up. Look at the maniacs go. Let's put it on super speed. Okay. That's oxalite. So this guy's putting out oxalite. He's wild and happy. Huh. Fucking cool. He doesn't make an oxygen for us. Speaking of. Car oh, the carbon skipper turns itself off. When it doesn't have anything uh, to process. Good. So I guess it's just not using energy while it's doing that. Did I see a... Uh, no. Okay. Battery level's a little bit weird. You can see these ones are not up. Quick update. Last year hurt my shoulders after putting it off. And then good long PT. Go for MRI. I think it's a torn labrum. I don't know what that is. But it sounds like something that you don't want. <laughs> so I hope... Uh, God. I hope you get it resolved, dude. Whatever it is. What are they going to do? How do they fix that? If it hasn't healed over time, I'm guessing it's going to take a little bit more than, than uh, hopes and prayers. I don't know what that was. But look at we have plenty of natural food just growing. Food just growing. We have plenty of seeds coming out of it. Cartilage type shit around your shoulder socket. Oh, okay. Not at all. Surgery. <sighs> yeah, that's a yikes. That sucks, dude. So when are you gonna do that? When's that fun start? Let's get uh, uh, let's get some food up here. We're gonna start making mush fries. We'll throw it in the fridge. The fridge doesn't take too much power. Even though we don't really need it, so maybe we'll like not use it. We'll just skip it. <laughs> We're just gonna just use the fryer. 60 watts. That's nothing. We will hook it up though. Use so much of my metal. There it is. So now we have two. So we should see. Oh, I guess it's not quite. Oh, so it's not. It's actually high enough to, to pump anything out. Do we really even need that though? Hold on. Now I'm wondering if we even needed that. Like maybe this tile right here is actually not going to fill. I don't know. We'll see. We'll let it go. Shovel A. That's not happening. And I don't think I could support another person right now unless I have really good attributes. Bottomless stomach, no. Can't do building errands, no. Increase air consumption rate, no. Binge eater, ugly crier, vomiter. I mean, the ugly crier is good, uh, but he can't build. Yeah, no. Hey, here we go. Crystal berry pickle meal. Yeah, sure, forever. Forever, and yeah. We won't put anything in here right now because I don't want it to run. Actually, it's probably running right now. Um, refrigerator, just dis disable. And this is not running right now, so it's not taking anything. Mush fry. Sh this should be. Oh, this is the picture. Uh, let me actually set that down. We have plenty of pictures now. <laughs> We've taken a picture every single day for days now. I just wanted the one or two. MRI should show how bad it is and is nothing uh, and nothing is ever quick, so I'm really not sure when, but when but they may say it's not bad enough to fix, which means I live with the pain. Oh my god. That's like the worst. Okay. Blice loaf. Mush fry. Cooked fish barbecue. I think we could get we could just have them just do Yeah, these things and then. Should I have him do mush bars? Yeah, some continue to crank out mush bars, and then he'll just fry them up as he goes. You know what? This down here might be a good spot. It's gonna just build up with carbon dioxide. And then it'll, the carbon dioxide should overflow and go over here. We'll put like a gas, just like maybe a couple gas tiles here or something. And then, um... Yeah, let me think. I don't wanna do this. 
Hmm. This is a bad enough to fix, really? Well, I suppose you don't mind if I give it to you. Yeah, exactly, huh? Yeah, you know, it's bad, but it's not like that bad. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. You can probably just live with this pain for the rest of your life. Yeah, I really hope that's not the case. How are they doing over here? Oh my god! Uh. What is this anti-entropy thermal nullifier? Oh, this... I, I've seen this, but I've never actually seen one in the game. Uh, I hardly even know what it does. But it runs off hydrogen. Absorbs and neutralizes heat energy when provided with piped hydrogen. Huh. Well, we have ice. And also uh, a vacuum. So, I guess we should security door. Let's go ahead and dig way over there. It cools the surrounding air. Oh, so I should I should definitely put some like radi radiated pipes or whatever. Nope. Damn. What does the temperature look like here? God damn, that's beautiful. Okay, can they open this door? Submit a bioscan. Who's gonna do a Navy Devil bioscan? Bloop, bloop. Doors open. And then we'll have it, uh, we'll just leave it open, I guess. And then I guess we go through and dig this out. I'm still alive. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm a little bit at a loss what to do with this because I've never I've never seen one in the game before. I've, I've seen I've seen it because I, I know it exists, but I other than that I don't know. But yeah, maybe piping something over here and then radiated pipe. Drop that ice into the water pit. It's already set up over here actually. Yeah, this is the ice bin. It has no ice right now. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a nine. So if ice drops, then they will move it over there. I'm guessing it needs hydrogen, right? So it needs hydrogen, which I don't have access to anywhere yet. There's a room right here, it looks like. This is not a terrible... Wow, there's another vacuum. Holy crap. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have a, a source of hydrogen yet. It runs on it, right? Cool, cool my LaCroix. There's hydrogen here, but I, don't, I need a hydrogen... Generation device. Oh, you know what? Let's do, uh, uh, yeah, this will, this will fish it out. Oh, no, it doesn't. Usually, neutronium has a, um, specific color to it that makes it stand out. Hmm. Damn. I'm gonna find this. Uh, yeah, usually, neutronium has a, um, like it stands out like this, this is like a green, darker green, I guess that. Maybe down here I might still be able to see some. Like right here. It just maintains a certain temperature. Right here, green, see? Green. So we could use this to hunt for more geysers and maybe we'll get lucky and we'll have a hydrogen geyser. How lucky would it have to be though? Yeah, I don't see anything. Although, something's here. They're delivering ice, so that's good. Spicy tofu. Hey, look at that. Great. Let's see, omelet. Okay, yeah, he's making everything he can. Mush bar and lice loaf. Fantastic. This is going well. Another natural gas generator would be good, but... Hi, he's freezing over there already, huh? What is it? It's 90 degrees. Oh, it's open. Awaiting fuel hydrogen. Well, I think for right now, we could at least, at the very least, pipe in a bunch of stuff. And, uh, bring it back. Looks like you had a cold area to the right as well. Uh, it is 30 degrees. Mafic rock. Oh, that's the edge. I think that's the edge of the... Yeah, mafic rock is, um, that shows up on, on the edge of... Like vacuums, I think, right? Doesn't it? I'm fairly certain it does. Can't prove it right now, but <laughs> yeah, it's outside. Put an electrolyzer. Do you have a mod that allows you to connect pipes, O2, H2 outputs? I do have uh, 
H2 output. But is that going to be enough? It's also going to consume my water supply, which I don't have an infinite amount of. And I also don't have any cooled water. So maybe... Maybe... Let me take a look at what I have. No, I'm complaining about nothing. So here's the pipe electrolyzer. Uh, let's just build one real quick and just take a look at the at what the needs are. Oh my god, did you see how much material I don't have? God damn, this is gonna be a constant problem. Look at this. Like I just don't have. I mean, I have, I have tons of gold amalgam right now, but that's gonna have to be saved for special situations. Um, mafic rock is in rust biomes. Oh. Yeah, well, somebody will build it. There we go. I guess I made it out of gold. <sighs> uh, Alright, I just want to see the pipes. So it does have an output here. Does it output the hydrogen? Or does it output the oxygen? This is the water, so it takes water in, obviously. And so what comes out here? You tell me hydrogen and oxygen come out of this pipe? Together? Really? I'm gonna plug it in just to take a look. Not that I don't trust you. I just kinda wanna see what the ratio is. Um, and we'll just pump it like, I don't know, we'll just pump it into the air or something like that. A Little bit of hydrogen ain't gonna hurt nobody. Uh, let me see, this, this is liquid. Uh, which, yeah, I do need that, so. Let's light a pipe, and we'll just take uh, some clean water from here. And then, this is put a ventilation next, gas vent. We'll put it like over here off to the side, that way we can monitor what its actual output's gonna be. And gas pipe. Power. Ooh, man, that uses a lot of power. 480, that is the cost. Like four times the cost, if I recall, of the Regular one. All right, so now it's, pu it's pumping now. It's only pumping oxygen. Which means it's putting out hydrogen. Yeah, you can see, it's, so hydrogen is in the vicinity. So, yeah, it's just pumping out hydrogen in the vicinity. You guys, we'll speed it up here. You can totally see it. Yeah. Okay, so... It is only pumping in oxygen, which is great if we need oxygen, but right now, we'll go ahead and disable this. Actually, we're going to deconstruct all this. Okay, that's not, that's not, that's not all. <laughs> so the way we should do this then is, put, I guess, put this in a room by itself somewhere, and then just let it make its own hydrogen. And... Oh, look, I needed that water anyway, so. Actually, it's kind of a pain in the ass where that fell. What's the temperature of that water, actually? 91 degrees, huh? That seems weird. That is a mod. Normal electrolyzer is 120 watts. Yes, the normal electrolyzer also just puts everything out in the air. And that's the point of the mod, is the mod will separate the two. It'll let you pipe, pipe it up. There was a mod that added pipe outputs to everything, and that adds H2O2 outputs to the normal electrolyzer. So it does both, huh? Yeah, mine doesn't do that. All right, this area is super cold and it's not going to get, like, it's not going to warm up anytime soon. So I think we should just take a pipe of water and just radiate that bitch. Just run it through there, radiate pipe, go. We'll worry about feeding that hydrogen machine later, but right now just in the, just the vicinity is enough to, uh, to cool stuff. And I think, honestly, just a couple of pieces of radiant, radiant pipe is really all we need. And we could just have it come in and just do a zigzag and that's it. So let's do that. Like that, basically. Then we could close that door and just let it just sit in here and just cool. And then everything else... <clears throat> God, that stuff's really expensive. Uh, and then everything else we'll just bring out, so... I don't want to do this. I really hate having, like... <laughs> Let's just go down the thing. I 
can't breathe. Go straight across here. Yeah, they could they could reach. Not quite all of it actually. I do have a split. Okay, cool. So we'll go like this. And then we'll figure out where to go from here. But we have to build another one, another return. Coming back. We need diagonal pipes. Please. Please. Oh, I think I missed. Oh, no, I did not. Okay. Insulate a pipe. Coming back. waste some resources it's fine <laughs> I have been bitching about not having resources or anything great okay so now we're here <laughs> um now we gotta get we gotta get all the way across over here to gather, gather some of this water and then bring that back uh that's dirty water right there so let's go straight across ish oops skipped or something. I really hope that that's enough radiated pipe in order to uh, make this happen. I don't know if it is. And then we'll feed it with a drip that we're not spending any money or any uh, power. Good. Uh, good. God, this is so much pipe. And this is the uh, cool water coming back. And then what do I do with the cool water? <laughs> I don't have another basin. Uh, well, maybe for the time being. No, fuck. I didn't think about that part. Let's put it in a... Uh, let's build a couple more reservoirs. How's that? That sounds good. <laughs> Those dank xylophone beats. <laughs> this is what it sounds like. Yeah, let's build a couple reservoirs and let's put them like over here or something, like in this area. We'll just dig this out, make a couple more shelves, and then we'll put some reservoirs here. So that's going to be under base, I think. Yes, liquid reservoir. And... Hmm. It's a lot of water. So we should be able to, yeah, we should be able to live off this. So boom, boom. Boom, 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 and then uh, boom, boom. That's a good amount to get started. Don't do anything else. Oh, thanks, Furious. <laughs> you had a micromanage nightmares in this game. It is. I, I have had, like, I, I've gone through, you know, spurts of gameplay where, like, I'll be so invested in everything related to this game. That I will actually have dreams about it. Like, I will actually have dreams about this fucking game. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We'll just do this, a simple in and out system here. This should be good. And then we'll worry about where to get it out once it gets over here. Fever. Yeah, just, just like worrying about just stupid stuff i guess like dream dreaming about just like just dumb things i guess i don't even know like just let's put a couple of these here organizational stuff pipes gas distribution stuff like that like gases and stuff like this kind of thing i i think about that all the time uh all the time <laughs> like any any time you deal with any kind of liquid or any kind of gas like when you're doing work around the house or something like that Oxygen not included is in my brain constantly. <sighs> Let me see. Now, I could, what I should do is, and I really hate to have this thing offset like that, but that is just the way it goes. I'm going to have a, I'm going to build an insulated tile just to keep this area separate. And then what I'll do is we'll have a bottler over here on the other side. And the bottler is going to... 
be for the time being where they pull water from. <clears throat> and I built that wall there. I was thinking I was gonna bring, like, dig this out and bring the pipe over. And I'll keep it kind of insulated for at least a minute. Yeah. That way they can grab the bottle from here and take it down here and fill this thing up and we'll be able to have our nice cool water. We still don't know how much this is going to cool though. We're still just hopes and dreams right now. Uh, your reservoir are not going to uh, going to the fill out ports or where you're Oh wait. I think I know what you're trying to say. Um, I plugged in the wrong. I plugged in it backwards or something. Oh, I did. Totally plugged in it backwards. Absolutely. The whole thing. Let me start over. There we go. All right. Let's try that again. So let's go up to the top first. Yes, I yes I put it. Yes, yes, that's exactly what happened. Wrong one. Insulated pipe. So we'll go uh, up first. And we'll go in. There we go. Well, actually, we'll go... Oh, fuck, I don't have tiles right here. Mm, maybe I should go ahead and put some tiles in here. What is this going to take? God, it's so expensive. Okay, we'll just build out a garbage. Now we can pass, just so we can pass things through. That's all. <sighs> Don't remind me about that cat girl comic. That was weird. <sighs> okay, out there, in here. And then we'll make this make more sense. Go in there. Uh, it comes out here. How do I want to connect these two? Yeah, no, no, that, that comic was fucking weird, dude. I I read it and I was just like, what am I even reading right now? Uh, let's cancel this because I did that a little bit wrong. Let's let them finish here real quick because I can't visualize anything right now. <laughs> I want this. Oh, this is not connected here. Let's see, what is it? Okay, they're going to be working on this thing forever, it looks like. Insulated pipe. Might as well go ahead and connect these two here. And then we'll connect... Uh, we don't need that, so I guess we'll just go straight from the pipes here. So should I just kill the aqua tuner right now? I think so. I think that's the thing to do right now. Because we're not going to cool it this way. It's not going to... You know, it's in a bad spot anyways. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. Let's get rid of all the piping and everything right here. And then we're going to redo... Oops, let's get rid of it all stat. And then we'll we'll create a proper merge for all this for all these drains here. Like yeah, th these liquid pipes here are not gonna help me at all, so. Insulate a pipe. Boom. Oh, that's gonna drip that way. Okay, let's go ahead and dismantle this. Deconstruct that. And then we need plumbing here, so we're going to go up. I remember having this problem too uh, in the last build that I did, the last save, where I had issues just like that, where I just was using the wrong, I was merging them incorrectly and it created all kinds of problems and hassles and everything. God, these have a lot of pipe to lay. <laughs> 